the lockdown will finish at some point, but the immediate effect after that, what do we go back to? We can't go back to the way we were before with all of these key workers, NHS workers, uh, council workers at the bottom of a pile, uh, and everyone else making huge amounts of money. We, we, we have to have some recalibration of our society in relation to this, because you know it wasn't so long ago when the same people who were clapping uh, over the last couple of weeks to support the NHS, those same MPs voted against pay rises for doctors and nurses. Did you see enough to now, Steve, when you've been delivering? Um, isolation, loneliness, people have been looking lonely, depressed, older people not seeing anyone. Yeah. Like what, only older people or families? Well, families are struggling, you know, if you've got kids and you live in a flat, uh, you haven't got a garden, it's really tough, isn't it? So that's why we were so keen to keep all our green spaces and parks open, so that people can go for a, a stroll or a run and take some exercise. Um, that's really hard. Uh, but th there are poor people anyway. People were struggling anyway. You've had 10 years of austerity. That's, that wasn't over. So we're still dealing with the effects of 10 years of cuts to public services. And it's come home to roost, isn't it? We were hoping to get out of austerity. But we're going to be in it even worse now. Well, I always remember Theresa May when she was in the Premiership the last few months of it. There is no magic money tree. Well, they found one now, haven't they? But who's going to pay for that? Should it be you know, the working man or woman, or should it be the corporate uh, giants who, who don't even pay corporation tax in this country? Well, who do you think? Well, uh, I'm sure you can tell from my demeanour who I think should be paying it. And it's that, you know, if we've got big corporations, uh, multinationals, who are based in this country, they should be paying the corporation tax in this country. Uh, and, I think, I think it was Sweden yesterday, or Denmark announced that uh, they're not going to give you any grants to any multinational companies who don't pay their corporation tax in their country. And I think we should be looking at the same. It's a scandal. It's an absolute scandal. Are people actually going hungry? I don't believe so. But um, what I worry about in case we, we've missed someone. So if you are aware of a friend or a neighbour or a a relative who maybe needs some support, just ring up the hub or email us at the hub. We'll, we'll make contact with them and find out if they need any help or support. We've contacted over 4,000 people through our community hub uh, uh, and we've given, I think, about 1,300, 1,400 uh, food, food boxes out uh, uh, since the lockdown started. But there are many other community groups, like Food Box in Brentford, um, Food Bank in Felton, the Reach, uh, Academy is doing great work over in Felton. So there's lots and lots of people doing really good work. We had Chiswick House and Grounds gave um, uh, working with La, Trum La Trumpette restaurant. I've only been there once, if anyone asks. Um, uh, uh, and uh, they're working together to supply food, fresh food, fresh food, and uh, more importantly, vegetables and salad to, to the residents of Hounslow via our hub. You know, these are fantastic efforts by uh, organisations, community groups and individuals.